Good evening. Today is Sunday in the fourth week of Lent. Our evening prayer begins on page 296. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. I have called on you, Lord. Come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Don't incline my heart to do any evil thing, to indeed to, to deeds of wickedness with those who are sinners. Don't let, don't let me share in their feasting. Let the godly strike me. It will be in a kindness. If they correct me, it will be like oil on my head. Let me not refuse it. Let my prayer be against the deeds of the wicked. When evil rulers are thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will hear my words, for they are well spoken. Like rocks brought up by the plow, so the bones of the wicked will lie scattered at the mouth of the grave. My eyes look to you, Yahweh, my Lord. In you I take refuge. Don't abandon my soul. Keep me safe from the traps set by evildoers, from snares they have laid for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The day is now past, the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, you hate nothing that you have created, and you forgive the sins of all who repent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our failings, may receive from you the source of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in this thy mercy's day, ere it pass for us away, on our knees we fall and pray. Lord, on us thy spirit pour, kneeling lowly at the door, lest it close forevermore. By thy night of agony, by thy supplicating cry, by thy willingness to die. By thy tears of bitter woe, for Jerusalem below, let us not thy love forego. Grant us neath thy wing a place, lest we lose the day of grace, ere we shall behold thy face. O oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sins, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt was gone. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best path for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him. Shout for joy, all you whose hearts are pure. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my plea. Answer me because you are faithful and righteous. Don't put your servant on trial, for no one is innocent before you. My enemy has chased me. He has knocked me to the ground and forced me to live in darkness like those in the grave. I am losing all hope. I am paralyzed with fear. I remember the days of old. I ponder all your great works and think about what you have done. I lift my hands to you in prayer. I thirst for you as parched land thirsts for rain. Come quickly, Lord, and answer me. 
for my depression deepens. Don't turn away from me or I will die. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting you. Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide, to hide me. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Because of your faithfulness, bring me out of this distress. In your failing love, silence all my enemies and destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Return to Yahweh your God, for he is gracious and merciful. God reckons as righteousness those who believe in him, the one who raised Jesus, our Lord, from the dead, for Christ was handed over to die because of our sins, and he was raised to life for our justification. Since we have been justified in God's sight by faith, we have peace of Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Through Christ, we have gained access to the grace in which we stand and rejoice in our hope of the glory of God. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Since we have been justified by his death, how much more shall we be saved from God's condemnation? Since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in the wonderful new relationship of God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. Return to Yahweh your God, for he is gracious and merciful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today comes from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? So run to win. All the athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shuttle boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. But if it dies, it produces a rich harvest. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away, sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his offspring forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. But if it dies, it produces a rich harvest. Night, merciful Father, we draw close to you in prayer, encircled by the defense of your love and your grace, acclaiming your goodness and your love made manifest to us in so many ways. For your gift of grace going before and always guarding us, we give you thanks, Lord God, for the passion you give us to respond to the, to the prompting of your love. We give you thanks, Lord God, for the dedication of those who lead and guide our inquirers and candidates towards a new life in Christ. We give you thanks, Lord God, and for the courage of Christian missionaries who seek to share the gospel throughout the world, we give you thanks, Lord God. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. 
Almighty and everlasting God, in these days of struggle, we intercede on behalf of the people of the world. As we find ourselves in the midst of a global outbreak, we beseech you to send forth a fresh outpouring of the Spirit upon all who are struggling, fearful, or anxious. In a particular way, alleviate the pain and suffering of those who are ill. Strengthen those who diligently labor in health care and preserve peace in all other respects. That united together, we may overcome this virus and find a pathway forward to prevention and good health for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. With confidence, we lift our knees before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Look with favor upon us, O Lord, our God, and in your compassion stretch out your right hand to defend us. Guard us from all adversities that may happen to the body, and from every evil thought that may challenge the soul. At the last day, comforted by the sure hope of your salvation, grant us the privilege of beholding your face, beholding you face to face through the grace of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of the faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>